Take. So this is what we're going to do, okay? You're going to hide in here and I'm going to be seated on this stool. Right. And then once Danilo comes, I'm going to let him sit down there. And then as soon as I'm done with my first question, you just pop out and you're like, it's me. I'm Surprise! Here. Okay, oh, we've awesome. got this. So you're hiding here. I'm just going to get him quickly. Cool, cool. Describe your career ever since you left Tech Nana and what have you been doing, what have you been up to? Sure, what a journey. So I left Hectic Nine Nine to work as a producer for a period of time. I actually worked for the company that produces Hectic. Oh, okay. And then I took a shift across into the presenter search for SABC3 and then onto a yeah. show called Afternoon Express on SABC3. And um, throughout that whole time, I still uh, work on my radio show. And I've started a company called Special Effects Media South Africa and we're involved with trying to help YouTubers grow. So keeping busy wow. like I always was. So much. Yeah. But do you miss D? Oh my <laughs> God. <laughs> What the hell are you doing here? <laughs> Give me a hug! <laughs> oh my goodness gracious Yes, me. you just hugged him, kind of. <laughs> anyway, you oh were saying... Oh my gosh! <laughs> It's so nice to see you. So tell us, Dineen, what have you been up to ever since you left Hectic? Oh gosh, right now it's really just about defining the things I want to do for the next 5, 10, yeah. 20 years. So I was still presenting, I've been doing a lot of influencer work. Music has been so awesome and interesting. And now that I kind of put my first single out there, it was just a way of saying, hey, I want to do music. Yeah. What do you think? How did your time in Nectic Nana prepare you for where you are in your career now? So I think what it taught me, you, you grow up instantly, you learn about money very quickly, you learn yeah. about um, sort of careers very quickly, you learn about fame and people and mm -hmm. their intentions. But I also thought it, I think it taught me a lot about hard work. Culturally, yeah. Yeah. it really opened up my eyes, yeah. And it teaches you what it means to be a child, I think, on the inside. Mm. I think we've all got this playful side mm. to us and we don't really, really yeah. let it thrive because a lot of our careers lean towards you must be professional, you must yeah. be better. Yeah. And this kind of show said to you, no, you can play you and that's yeah. okay, yeah. Which phrases did you overuse as presenters? Oh, totally, that's definitely <laughs> yeah. you guys. Hey, you guys, and... Uber, flippin' Uber. Uber, Uber. But that's a staple, man. How <laughs> it do you was like my go to, It was like my go-to. Uber, Uber. Can you guys do a demo, an opening link, and I want you guys to actually do what you did when you worked on Nectic Nana. This is Hectic Nana. What are you doing? Wow. Welcome, everybody. It's so good to have you with us today. D squared in the building. D squared in the building. What's up? Yes, you can get hold of us. And what was the number? 083903. 3011. Yes. Nangom 2. Nangom 2. Tick. Welcome back guys, so you saw myself and Dene and obviously Frank Danila which was super amazing. She decided to invite me over to her house to see where she grew up and get to know her grandparents as well. But I think she's making coffee so let's go check out what's happening. What was Deneen like when she was a kid growing up? What was her persona like? She was very active in <laughs> everything. Still so active. active. So she really belonged to TV. I, I knew that she will be some actress one day. Some you know? because she was a character. Yeah, because she was a character. <laughs> what was her favorite TV show watching when she was a kid? Heidi, which she loved and dancing. And she still inherited that name, Heidi, her grandpa still called her Heidi. I had her Heidi. grandpa calling her Heidi. Yeah, mm, yeah that's her name, Heidi. Quite cute, man. <laughs> Wow, I actually got to learn a lot about you because I never knew you danced. Yeah! Mm -hmm. Okay. She's a good dancer. Well, thank you so Goodness. much. I really enjoyed this interview. Mm. It was really good. Thank Getting you. to know Deneen a bit more about, you know, yes, the secrets yes. that no one knows about. But okay, guys, right about now, we're going to check out how Lisejo is doing in her career. Hectic. Hectic. <laughs> 